Hello everyone. Today I'm going to address an interesting topic, which is the utilization of large language models in material science and engineering for evaluation of ontologies. I am Mirza Motashimalam, a researcher working at Fitz Karl Schule. Are you overwhelmed by the skyrocketing complexity in material science and engineering? You are not alone. As the field advances, we are uh, overloaded with a volume of data that's increasingly hard to manage and analyze. Interontologies are structured roadmaps for navigating domain-specific knowledge. By using competency questions, we ensure these ontologies are laser-focused, capable of answering key questions that help us to meet our project goals. But wait, there's more. What if I told you that you don't have to be an expert in complex query languages like Sparkle to extract valuable insights from these ontologies? That's why we introduce here large language models. These powerful algorithms can pull answers to your competency questions directly from knowledge graphs, making the whole process more accessible and efficient. More precisely, LLMs can help material scientists to extract their competency question directly from knowledge graphs without necessarily mastering sophisticated query languages like Sparkle. But hold on, these LLMs are powerful but not perfect. Due to their generative capabilities, they can sometimes produce misleading information. That's why we emphasize the need of rigorous evaluation against standard queries. Due to generative nature of LLMs, their tendency to create hallucination, proper evaluation is needed of the performance of LLMs against the manually crafted Sparkle queries. That's why what's next on our agenda is to develop a streamlined pipeline to automatically respond to competency questions specifically designed for MathWork Knowledge Graph and come up with a proper evaluation to check the performance of large language models. The methodology of our pipeline is depicted here, which has many components. Due to limitation of large language models, chunk size and context size, we had to provide context in a small, meaningful blocks. With the help of prompt engineering and pre-trained embeddings from, from large language models, the answer from competency questions are generated. Later, we compared the answer with the ground truths generated by Sparkle. The task become more challenging due to the varied categories of competency questions. Some competency questions have direct answer, as we can see here. Some competency qu questions provide direct answers, but can have different representations. Many competency questions have multiple different items in their answer. Some competency questions have descriptive answers as well. We have evaluated our large language models on 37 competency questions for network knowledge graph using a range of metrics like, like rogue, precision, recall, accuracy, and F1 scores. Traditional metrics work for direct answers, while a variety of rogue scores are used to tackle more complexities. Our findings reveal that while LLMs are usable for answering competency questions, their performance can significantly improve with properly pre-processed context. However, they are prone to generating hallucinatory or misleading information. Among the key takeaways, it's worth noting that LLMs are user-friendly for both experts and newcomers. They facilitate easier creation and validation of new competency questions, making material science and engineering more accessible and data-driven. Despite these advances, we face challenges in automating answer retrieval from knowledge graphs and in evaluation due to nuanced relationship between large language models and competency questions. Future research will focus on increasing the accuracy of large language models um, to the responses of competency questions. Thank you for your attention. So if you are excited about a smarter, more efficient future in material science and engineering, come check out our poster to learn more about how ontologies and large language models are setting the stage for this revolution. Thank you very much for your attention again. Feel free to ask questions or dive deeper at our poster area D with identifier B082045.